Hey people, this is Wii187, and I would like to welcome you to a brand new Let's Play known as Abzu. And you may have seen me uh, with a previous video on Abzu just a little while ago about comparing it between Journey and, you know, how it's different. But, you know, this is going to be its own LP, an entirely new thing, and I've been meaning to LP this anyway, so let's get started. Uh, this game is absolutely phenomenal, composed by Austin Wintory and uh, with done by the art director of Journey as well. So that's where a lot of the similarities come in. But you know what, let's just get started. I'm not going to talk for this intro, I'm just going to be quiet so you can hear it. And uh, once we're in control of our character, then I'll resume and we'll start talking again. Here we go. We are. This is us. This is our character. We are the diver, and I know a lot of you have probably seen this around because uh, you know this game did get some promotion back in the day before it came out, and it was actually it had a, a little bit of hype because you know it was sort of uh, seen by a lot of fans as like you know the second journey, and in a way it is, and in a lot of ways it isn't. Uh, just before we start, I want to point out that like this uh, suit that I have is not the default suit that you start with. It's actually the suit that you get for uh, for collecting all the shells and stuff, like all the optional uh, shells in the game. They're called the the Nautilus clams or whatever. Yeah, that's why I can actually swim faster with this suit. So you know, you just uh, press the the R2 button to dive there on the controller, just like it says. I'm playing with a uh, with a, a PlayStation 4 controller, so even though it says Xbox on there, screw that. I, I, I play with a, the PS4 controller because that's what's fun to play with. Not really. I just like I like the PS4 controller a little bit more. But anyway, uh, let's swim around here. We can actually, uh, yeah, we can tilt the turn. Yeah, just go left and back and stuff. Oh my god, this is absolutely stunning. Just look at all. Oh, uh, look at the reflection on the ground. You know, the lighting. The lighting in this game is really, really well done. Just wait till we get to some of the later areas. Holy, holy crap. It's going to be intense. I can't wait. This game is one that I've been wanting to, uh, to I, I've been wanting to, to let's play ever since I first played it and I have tried to let's play it about twice now and you know you know I've, I've run into some technical difficulties but hopefully if you're watching this that means that at last you know uh, we ended up succeeding and yeah that's all that's all that matters if I can get this video out then that's that then that'll be good oh my gosh would you look at that? Yeah, I actually want to say, I think it's ironic that I am uh, playing through a game all about fish, and I actually have some fish, some baked fish next to me that I got from the store, so as we're going to be appreciating the life of all fish, I will also be eating it, because I think that's the uh, the perfect meal for a game like this, just chomp down on some fish. I love fish, actually. So anyway, these things right down here, uh, they actually release fish from the ground and sort of unleash them into the water. They're kind of like these unlockable things that you can find. Um, I guess the closest thing to Journey that you would they would be are like the glyphs that you find in Journey, uh, except uh, once you do them once you don't have to do them again in this game they're just kind of there and I think those are the red fish right there the ones that I freed in that area so uh, that's just you know something to know it's not uh, not too complicated I'm actually missing one I've been looking all over for it and then once I find that last one then I can finally get the achievement anyway oh what do we have here it's beeping at us let's press the square button not the X button the square button. We're on a PS4 controller game. Oh, hello. Wow. You're uh, scanning me, huh? You know what? That's cool. You seem kind of nice. I'm going to keep you around. Uh, what should I name you? Um, you know what? I'm going to name him Sen. Sen, uh, spelled S-E-H-N, not S-E-N. Uh, S-E-H-N. Sen, uh, that's the main protagonist in my story. And I, I kind of I have uh, the feeling I'm just going to like... I, I want to name all of the... Uh, the robots that we find in this uh, in this playthrough, after you know the characters in my story that I've been working really hard to write, uh, I know in the previous recording that you guys aren't seeing because it totally failed. Like I only got like well, like three frames out of that past recording that I tried to do when I LP'd this the first time. 
Uh, but I named uh, them all after like my friends and stuff. But you know, I feel like this time it's a good idea to go with all the characters. And we have another one right here. And we will call this one uh, Brendan, who is the other main protagonist in my story. Hello, Brendan. How's it going? Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not as blinky. Oh, you blinked. Okay, that's cool. No, let's just continue on here. There is, I think, one more somewhere in this area. I'm not exactly sure where. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's around. I don't know if it's under here. You know, actually, no. I think it's up here. Up here. Um. On the cliff, is it? Yeah, I see it. It's over there. So yeah, if we uh, just swim on our way over here, here's the third one. Hello, robot. Oh yeah. There you go. Poking and prodding you. There you go. You're back to life now. I will call this one Sotir. Sotir is another main character, and uh, she's pretty cool as well. I love all my main characters, so I'm glad that we have like three robots with us now. And you know, they do have a role in the lore and in the story. Um, beyond just, you know, helping us. They do, like, they open doors in the gameplay and stuff, but there is a reason why these robots are here, and I don't want to spoil it yet, but we'll find out as we explore and we're on our way. So, uh, that's definitely something to look forward to. But for now, we got them as friends, and that's cool. And we can swim around, and, you know, they always leave, like, the, behind these, like, uh, these scorch marks where they were, which makes you think that possibly they crashed down or something. And, uh, over here, actually, you can find this, um, statue. These are the meditation statues. Uh, which you can just, you, know, you can sit down and just like take a look at all the fish around here. Uh, which is pretty cool, you just press the uh, select button, or the, the pad button on the PS4 controller for me. And you can just examine all the fish, which I think is really, really cool, because you can just cycle through them all. And at, uh, all the fish in here, oh man, that fish is bumping to the wall. Oh my gosh, no, it's eating the fish. Holy crap, alright, well yeah, I guess that's a hungry fish. Yeah, it's a black sea bass, you know what, you know, I'm eating you, you fish. It's right next to me. But yeah, I think it's kind of cool how there's like so much, uh, you know, actual biology to this area and like to this game in general. I think it's, uh, for those who are actually interested in like the marine biology and stuff, it's, it's really, really cool. It's uh, a really cool thing to just, you know, take your time and, you know, like in enjoy it. Enjoy it, that's for sure. So uh, our destination, which you t totally don't have to go to, you don't have to go to right away if you don't want to, but I'm just going to move things along. This thing right here, and this is why we have to, we need the robots right now, is one of them will go and open up the door for us, the coral door. Or the coral that's grown and become a door that's closed and locked to us. And I just want to say, like, look at the, the plant life. Like, uh, I don't think people were paying attention enough to the plant life when they played this game, but it looks just as beautiful as the fish. Oh, hello. Huh. Well, that was a shark. Yeah, these plants here, they give such, they give like, such of like a uh, Wind Waker and Skyward Sword kind of vibe from Zelda, and I, I love it. I love it so much. It's like such a beautiful aesthetic, and oh man, it's great. I know Journey did something very similar to it as well. Oh, we got some eels down here. Hello, eels. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of how this uh, Let's Play is going to be structured. We're not going to, like, I know what's coming. But uh, I'm just sort of going to uh, play along and see what we find. Maybe I'll even discover something new. I'm not going to spoil anything, so if it's your first time seeing the game, don't worry. You know, I'll be very careful about spoilers, because I think this game is very interesting and totally worth not spoiling, and that was beautiful to do. So anyway, I guess the only spoiler that you'll see is that I already have the special suit that you get from finding all the collectibles. But that's not really a story thing. That's just a, you know, a bonus that you can do for, like, if you're, like, that kind of player who needs to find everything like me. Alright. Oh, man. These leaves that you just pass through. That is so cool. And you get here and everything's kind of dead. Yeah. The, the wilted... The wilt, I mean, they're still growing pretty uh, pretty tall, but they are kind of wilted. So we need to go into that uh, portal right there, but what we're going to do first is we're going to swim down because there is a lot of stuff that you can find down here, and people don't usually think to look down here but it is totally worth it. Now, there's a lot of wreckage here that might give you some implications on the story. I'm not going to say anything just yet, because we haven't found out too much. But, uh, yeah, it looks like these are some uh, boat wreckages and things like that. It, it could be metal, but it's definitely not uh, not pleasant whatever happened here. So, anyway, let's uh, go up. Let's uh, oh turn our bodies around. Let's give a nice swifty twifty turn all into just dive in oh am i gonna make it i totally i made it awesome there i go so this is sort of the intermission area that you return to in the middle of every chapter 
and it is really, really cool because it, it sort of marks your progress. We're going to be here a couple times, but our first visit here, you, you can see like there's the other pedestals around, and we unlocked the first one, but there's more, and there's even one behind us, and this is sort of like what this game considers the Abzu itself, and there are mythological, um, th there's some mythological uh, reasons behind why it, it does this, where it's sort of like, in Babylonian mythology, Abzu is sort of the father of all life, uh, where Tiamat is the goddess of salt water, and she marries Abzu, who is the goddess of fresh water, and together they mingle their waters and create all sorts of life, and they have a bunch of children. And this is sort of like a representation of that, especially that pink light down there. Uh, you know, you can't actually swim down into this water, it, the game will stop you. It's like, ha, eh, you, you thought, but you can't, you know. So that's fine. We can just uh, swim on over here into the next area and uh, see what else we can find. We're not done with chapter one yet. This is just like the, the middle part, the middle portion. Maybe not the middle portion, maybe like the 75% mark of this chapter. And we just uh, give some of that life back into the water. And then this life springs forth. Are those manta rays? I think they're manta rays. That's cool. Alright. That is pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and there's our manta ray friends, and all the plants come back to life. That's really cool. Man. That is so awesome. And you can actually, you can actually uh, go and check out all the manta rays that we just freed, and there's other fish too. But let's uh, see if we can swim down and uh, take a ride on our friend, the manta ray. I love how uh, you can actually see inside its mouth and like see like they actually textured it and stuff. That's really, really cool. These fish look awesome. Like, my goodness. You can just swim around. It'll, it'll try and eat stuff too. If you press uh, the X button, that's not that's the A button, not like the Xbox X, X button, but the Sony X button. Uh, you press that and tap it a lot, then it'll just start swimming around for you. It doesn't really go in any given direction. It just sort of like, you know, does its thing. You know, as as a manta ray does, it does its thing, and we can continue on here now into the next area. We got some ruins, some hieroglyphic uh, pictures and stuff. Actually, this is the first uh, thing we get, like our first vision about the civilization that we end up learning a lot about in this game. And it looks like they were people who lived on the land, and you know they weren't doing so great. Like they they were kind of struggling to grow crops, as is shown by the deterioration in the hieroglyphs. At least that's my understanding of it. This this one over here doesn't actually mean anything. This just means that I found all the shells in the game. If, if I uh, tap that, uh, tap the button right there, then I would actually go back to my old outfit. And I want the, uh, the super speedy one, so I'm just gonna stick to what I got. Let's move on here. Oh, I love the lighting. Look at that shadow on the wall from the robot. That's so cool. Like these small areas, if you go down deep enough, you can actually like hit the sand. And you know, you start ruffling the sand a little bit. That's beautiful. That is so so cool. I, I really hope they make more games like this. I really want a, a game like Journey and Abzu, but set in the rainforest. Oh my god! I know. Ah, he just killed Sotir. At least I think that's Sotir. It was it was the one all the way on the on the left. So I assumed. Ah, uh, well, we we had two robots still. Uh, anyway, let's take a, a dip down. A dip down all the way. Like, people always forget that there is an area down here. But there is totally an area, and you saw... Oh, can I find it? Yeah, over here, there is another fish spot. You can uh, release more fish over here. You got some uh, sea turtles. Let's take a ride on the sea turtle. Hey, sea turtle, my friend. The leatherback sea turtle. That's really cool. I love sea turtles. I love all turtles. All turtles are both... Like, all turtles are cool. I actually almost had a pet turtle, but then I ended up going with the bearded dragon as a kid instead. Oh, if you uh, go a little bit too far, the game will like push you back. It's like, nah, you can't go that far. You thought, but you thought wrong. So that, that's really all that there is to do down here. I'm sure there's a couple other things. I think there might be some shells down there. I don't remember where all of them are because I found them all pretty quickly when I was playing. Um, and oh, there's also the surface right up here. 
That is really cool. And let me see if I can uh, find it. I know I saw on the on the Reddit page, um, someone said they saw a floating continent up in the sky. I don't know if it's a little bit too late. Maybe it's earlier on in the game and I missed it already. Or I'll, I'll keep looking. Oh, wait, it's up there. See, if you look up way in the sky up there, that is, uh, you see, like, a, a, a pyramid floating thing. That is, uh, I guess, proof that the civilization that we're studying found its way to the skies. That's really cool, if that's the case. I don't know. Like, you can see the same pyramids and stuff right here, this door with the eye, and that's going to lead us into Chapter 2. So, in the next part, we will continue on to the next chapter, and it's going to be pretty fun. It's a little bit differently uh, structured than this one. We're going to go kind of fast. It's going to be fun. So, anyway, if you like this part, rate it, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it, you should totally go check out uh, my other channel that I have called Double EXP, with I do with my roommate and friend Luke. And we do a, uh, uh, we do like a, a talk show called Pixel Talk, and we talk about all different sorts of stuff. And I do want to do one on, like, uh, we're doing one really soon, actually, about, like, uh, the mentality of gamers and how uh, certain gamers find games like Abzu really relaxing and others don't get that much out of it. So totally go check that out if you have the free time. I would really appreciate it. I'll leave a link in the description and an annotation right now. So, yep, yeah, thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.